So trauma-informed champions are sort of specialist lead roles within the team. So our champions have additional specialist training so that they're able to develop trauma-informed practice within our organisation. So it's kind of to help embed the principles of trauma-informed practice in our assessment and planning process. One of the roles is providing consultation to other practitioners, um, particularly perhaps less experienced practitioners or new members of staff. They also assist to coordinate resources across the local authority, particularly if we've seen an increase in different trauma informed projects. So it helps us prioritise which children might need psychology and finding the right pathway for the right child. They can help to develop resources in house, developing sort of guidance and tools and making sure that all our new policies and all our new interventions have um, a trauma informed lens. What's become evident is as time's gone on, the champions have almost needed to do less and we needed to refer into projects less as our team became more skilled in delivering trauma informed practice. And I think it also completely changes the way you view the child's behaviour, you know, you no longer view it in isolation of the context it occurred. So it um, changes the way you understand the child and the family and practice and outcomes as a result. Perhaps useful for all staff to do some basic um, trauma or ACE aware training, but then perhaps after that to identify um, key members of staff who might have um, skills or sort of quite passionate about that way of working. But generally, I would say the earlier, the better to identify the champions. They're going to be key in driving your practice forward. I think it'd be really useful because there's lots of general information available and lots of kind of general training on trauma informed practice. But what ha having the champions has allowed us to do is kind of take that information that's out there, which you know there can be an overwhelming amount of information and kind of reflect and make that specific to your own organisation. So, so it helps you um, think about the barriers that you might face within your own organisation or the unique needs of your cohort. Um, and then sort of adapt it, yeah, to, to meet your needs.